Hello! As I promised, I'm going to talk about colleges. I'm going to be talking about colleges and how to prepare for college and are we actually preparing our kids properly for college. And this is coming from a mom. I'm a homeschool mom. I'm a former public and private school teacher. I went to college. I have a ninth grader and we're thinking a lot about college, but it's coming from a mom who has a very biblical worldview perspective on a lot of things and I have a lot of thoughts about preparing for college. Some of you may love this video, some of you may hate it. I get it. I'm going to try my best to let you guys leave comments in the comment section down below and read them. I'm going to read all of them and, and I know when I go through this video, I am going to say things that may or may not come out right. I'm hoping to say everything right. That's what I'm hoping to say. So I previously made a video talking about keeping our kids off the throne and putting God on the throne. I made that video because I do feel like just observing the world around me, a lot of us parents are putting our kids on the throne. We're catering to our kids. We're giving them the world. We're giving them everything at what sacrifice. We're sacrificing time, our time with God. Everything that we go through right now as parents and raising our children, like 200 years from now, it's not, it's not gonna matter anymore. I mean, it might, there's exceptions to the rule. He is the one that needs to be praised, not us. Talk about that in my other video. So we actually come from a, a lot of us do, and I'm not speaking for everyone, I know I do, come from a very secular foundational worldview. That's, that's how I was raised. I was raised in the public school system. Everything was focused on academics and achievement, and it was my identity was placed in what I was capable of doing in the schools. And at the end of the year, we had our graduation, our GPAs were announced, and what college we were going to, that was announced. A lot of us, as parents, we claim that we are pulling our kids out of the public school system, well, nowadays homeschool for many reasons, but those of us that are pulling out for faith-based reasons, we're doing it, and then we're getting so distracted by all these outside things, I talk about in my other videos, sports and dance and etc. that we get distracted and we start going back into what we're familiar with doing. We're putting our kids in all those activities and then it's conflicting with our time with the Lord. And then when we hit this high school years and we're thinking about college, academics, GPAs, scholarships, what college are they going, are they going to? It's, oh my gosh, this person is going to this state university and they're on a full scholarship. NCAA, that's another big one. People get really involved with sports and get that NCAA scholarship. And I'm watching all this from a distance and I keep telling myself like, are they prepared for this? And, and one of the big things is sciences, for example. Science is huge, right? And social sciences, evolution versus creation. If you taught your, you know, if you taught your kids creation, are they able to defend their position when they get to college? And it, is their foundation strong? Even just their, their belief system, everything is going to be challenged in college, there are a lot of situations and a lot of things that people are noticing within the church realm where they're seeing this drop off in attendance in the 20s, the age, 20 something age. It drops off, people stop going to church. And that is because they were raised with the priority being academics and their identity being found in what they are capable of doing. In other words, putting themselves on the throne and not God. Um, I know one thing I'm seeing with a lot of homeschoolers just because I've been doing this now with I've been in the homeschool movement now for over 10 years and I'm telling you I it looks so different before the pandemic but what I was seeing a lot is a lot of these families when their child graduated from high school it was highly encouraged for them to stay at home while they went to college just go to the local university or or nowadays I'm seeing some of these parents just do it online and not all parents are going to force their kids or encourage their kids to jump right into college right away. Because if they don't know what they want to do, going to college and finding out then is sometimes not the best. Sometimes letting them get a job in the real world. But there is still this family unit that's encouraging them to put God first in their lives, surrounding them through these college years. My son, for example, and I'm not trying to like, he could totally change his mind and like throw me a, a curveball. What he wants to do right now when he grows up requires him getting a master's degree. 
And one of the things we see a lot is in these in these Christian colleges, they are teaching evolution throughout the different disciplines because the professor is not Christian, but they have their doctorate degree and they know all the people and all the things. So we need to be aware of that. We can't just go, it's Christian college, they're safe. Through college, there's a lot of things that I'm, both me and my husband are really trying to focus in to prepare my son, who, like I said, wants his, he's going to need his master's degree to do what he wants to do. We're trying to prepare him spiritually, knowing the word of God. We literally will study the word of God throughout the day and um, making sure we keep him on the throne. I mean, we do our Bible studies. I actually, I show this book in the previous video, which is, um, I talk about it and why we've started using this, or at least using it as a, a jump start into serious prayer. You know, they're going to be tested so hard, guys. There's some called exit courses. I was talking to a high schooler that was going into college, and these exit, exit courses are going to pretty much, like, really super challenge you with your belief system and structure. It's, it's tough. It's really tough. My advice to her was, like, seriously, just give them what they want so you can get the grade and move on to the next level. Just give them what they want. Just go. Whatever. That's all I'm about. Don't try to argue with these professors because it's just not worth your time. <laughs> and that was my advice to her. I do know somebody who decided they were going to be on a mission to argue with the professors and, you know, defend their faith. And they were actually, I guess, kicked out of school because they failed. They failed them because they kept challenging the very foundation, and they were in, they were actually in a humanities kind of major, and of course when you go there. Anyway, you see my point? Like, they can still, they have the power. You know, if the Lord leads you to defend your faith in a certain situation, I get it. You gotta defend your faith. If somebody wants you to write a paper of why God doesn't exist, yeah, I would book it out of there. Um, I would take another class and drop that class. See, that's one that can definitely get comments and your thoughts down in the description box below. I think this book, um, it's, and I'm going to start going through it. It's a two-year science elective. It doesn't have a lab that goes along with it. But it's a science elective that prepares your children for the sciencey side of things for college. And it's, um, the goal is to lay down that foundation to make sure they know how to respond to someone who is teaching them evolution. This is the book right here. This is the first one. And this is the second one. Master Books sells it, but he also sells it. I also have his interview. I interviewed him. It's in the card right there if you want to see the interview with him. He was a medical physician. And he started looking at evolution in general, and then he started refuting it. He, this is his life work, basically, is he wants to see high schoolers have foundation. And when they walk into colleges, colleges don't eat them alive. They can defend their faith and walk out of colleges still being a young earth creationist. It is so hard to do that after they, they especially if you get your degree in a science field. And if your child is going into a science field, you know, it can be a little scary. There are a lot of resources out there. Um, Answers in Genesis is great. I love it. I do feel like Answers in Genesis, when you go see Ken Ham speak, they don't really get into the meat of things, but when you get into some of their journals, they do have a peer-reviewed research journal then it starts to get really deep and meaty. And a lot of these scientists that write for Answers in Genesis, they're going to have their own organization, and you can find them in the different fields. Like, I know, for example, Dr. Jason Lyle, he's more in the astronomy field. You also have another one called ICR, um, and then you've you've got uh, Mike Riddle. I hope I'm saying all these names right. Dan Biddle. I've interviewed a couple of these people. And you're going to also see this in the humanities area and social sciences, anthropology and sociology and those those kind of humanities area, psychology. That's a big one because that's kind of like a mix. You know, it's science, but it's also social science. And there's just so much to think about. And are they prepared spiritually? Are they constantly putting God on the throne? And are they able to defend themselves biblically? And do they have, this is a big one, do they have support because when we're weak, sometimes we cave. Do they have you as parents? Do they have a congregation that they can go to and ask questions? Do they have these things? 
when you're sending your your kid off, you know, let's say you live in Maryland and you're sending your kid off to Florida State, great school. That's what they say. Actually, it's a party school. <laughs> Florida State University is a party school. So is UF. A lot of these state universities are party schools. And it's important to know that. But when you send them to these schools, is there a support group down there that they can lean on for emotional, um, spiritual counseling? Like, do they have a group that they can go to, a church that they could go to? People that, um, because they're meeting all new people. It's really, it, there's some campus ministries out there, but even the campus ministries aren't 100% walking the way God wants them to walk. I mean, it's, it's hard, guys. Not to scare you, but these are things that I'm thinking about. And I think a lot of it does come down to how we are raising our kids right now, especially when they're walking into high school. Are we keeping their foundations properly? So hopefully this at least, at the very least, got many of you guys thinking about college. I know it's got me thinking, yeah, there's so much. My son uh, right now, he's wanting to do online schooling, which I mean, yeah, he'll be sitting at home, but that doesn't mean he's, he's not going to be exposed to some pretty... Uh, intense situations. He's in ninth grade, so there's that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I think that's it. Check out my other videos, especially the part one to this series, and Carl Warner, Dr. Carl Warner, his interview, which is really good. Um, thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!